When I say chicken fried steak, what's the first thing you think about? Let me tell you, you thought wrong. There is no chicken in chicken fried steak. It's an American dish where a beef cutlet or steak is coated in seasoned flour and deep fried. We're gonna make a basic white gravy that we pour over our chicken fried steak before serving. And we're also gonna find out how my fellow Indians react to a chicken fried steak with no chicken in it. So watch till the end. Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Folks, in India, you get something called chicken steak. It's a piece of chicken that has been flattened out with a meat mallet to look like a steak. So when I found out there was a dish called chicken fried steak, I just thought it was some fried chicken. But turns out in America, chicken fried steak is actually a beef dish. And today we're going to cook that up. It's simple, it's delicious, it's breaded and fried like chicken is. That's why the name chicken fried steak. So anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. Let's make some gravy by getting some butter in our pan. Add some flour to that and whisk away. I add in my secret ingredient, a chicken stock cube and keep whisking. Now I'm going to slowly keep adding milk to that and keep whisking. We want a nice smooth gravy so be patient, don't rush this process. I use 2 tablespoons of butter, 2 tablespoons of flour and I'm adding 2 cups of milk. This is a recipe that never fails. Once you've added all the milk and your gravy has a nice consistency, then add in some black pepper, a little more milk if you need to thin it out, taste it for seasoning and your gravy is ready. It's a silky smooth luxurious gravy. Now to coat our steak we're going to use some regular all-purpose flour and I recently made a dish called shrimp creole for which I made creole seasoning. I'm going to mix that with the flour. Click on the i button to get the recipe for my creole seasoning. Now our seasoned flour is ready. We're also going to make an egg wash so crack an egg into a bowl, add some buttermilk, a bit of Tabasco and give it all a good whisk. Egg wash ready. Now in America you get something called a cube steak which is a pre-pounded steak but in India I'm using water buffalo and I've got to use the tenderloin because that's just how it is. So I get my piece of tenderloin, I put it in a ziplock bag. Since I don't have a meat mallet I'm just going to use a rolling pin to pound out that meat. You really want to beat your meat properly. Make sure it's nice and flat. Once I've beaten my meat, I realize it's pretty big, so I cut it into two normal sized steaks. Season with salt and we're ready to go. Get your steak into that seasoned flour, coat it well and then dip it straight into the egg wash. Then back again into the seasoned flour for another coating. Place it in your tray while you do that to the other steaks. Once they're all coated, it's time to cook. Pan on, oil in. Once it comes to temp, straight into the hot oil goes the steak. Takes about a minute or two before you need to flip it over and cook it for another minute. Remove and set onto a wire rack. Then in goes the second steak, same thing. Flip it after a minute or two, cook for another minute or so and remove and set on your wire rack. Now to serve, get your snakes on a plane, I mean steaks on a plate and then pour that delicious gravy over the steaks. And that looks just fabulous. Of course, got to fancy it up with a little bit of parsley so that we have a little more color on the plate. Anyway, nothing left to do but to cut into that steak and hot damn, that looks good! Direct delivery to my mouth and that is one tender, succulent and tasty piece of meat. And that gravy is just icing on the steak. Anyway, let's see how my fellow Indians enjoy this steak. Enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Have you ever heard of a dish called chicken fried steak? No, I haven't ever heard of a dish called chicken fried steak. No, I haven't. Uh, so I'm very excited to like try it because okay. it's like chicken and then I'm assuming it's deep fried. <laughs> yeah, Is so it? No, I don't think so. I have. Yes, but I'm trying to think. Chicken? Yeah, actually, but it's not, never been the great just experience to be honest. Have you eaten it? Uh, I'm thinking in one of those like Tex-Mex kind of restaurants. Do you have any memory of what it tasted like or what it was? No, if I did then I'm probably just like <laughs> pushed it out of my memory and all okay. of that. Dig in. Oh wow, that's really good. The meat is really tender which I think is like the first thing to point out because like typically it's really easy to overcook. It is well seasoned. Even though there's like a mountain of sauce on top of it, it still has a little bit of that crunch which I would not expect. So I really enjoy this. Mmm, 
I like the breading. It's actually quite good. Very tender. I don't mind the white sauce, which <laughs> is strange because I'm not the biggest white sauce fan. First thoughts doesn't taste like beef at all. I mean, I'm used to eating it in say steak and that is a very different flavor profile compared to this. And I'm not saying this is bad. I like it. Had you not told me this is beef, I wouldn't have believed you. If you take the sauce off and you just look at the meat, the way it's, you know, fried and stuff, I'll probably get crucified for saying this, but uh, it would probably, I'd probably mistake it for something like, say, a chicken satay. Okay, this is not what I ate for sure. <laughs> Whatever I ate was something else. To this gravy is like, hmm. You can edit this out later on. This is gravy, guys. All the restaurants watching it. Not the brown stuff that everyone puts. The brown sauce and stuff. This is actual gravy, man. Leave what Americans call soul food. This is soul food for me, man. Like, this is nice. Everyone loves fried food, so why not? And steak and fried is like, oh. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate this dish? Probably rate this at a 7. I'll rate it 7. A 10. I'm gonna cheat, it's 12, dude. Chicken fried steak. What's not to like? All right, folks, I'm gonna taste the chicken fried steak. That is some good beef. The gravy is delicious. It's a very comforting dish. But yeah, I mean, it is a bit plain. I can see why people rated it 7. I can also see why people rated it 10 and 12. Because if you like simple flavors, clean flavors, homely, comforting food, this hits the spot. If you're looking for something with a bit more oomph, it probably doesn't deliver when you're thinking of like restaurant food. But it's comforting, delicious and I'm going to go and enjoy this. I hope you will try making it at least once. Let me know how it turns out. What do you think of chicken fried steak? And I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. And a big thank you to all my Patreons and YouTube channel members who support what I do. I really appreciate all your support. Miso, you're not getting any of this. Anyway, if you'd like to support the channel either via Patreon or the channel memberships, the links are in the video description box just below this video. I'll see you next time.